15 minutes of the arrest of two of the top leaders of the Street Artists Guild, there were only a handful of artisans still willing to chance selling on the street. Bill and Bob Clark had been hustled off to jail, and at least eight other artisans decided that rather than fight it for the moment, they'd regroup and figure their next course of action. Basically, the problem is this. The police say they can't sell without a permit, but the police have refused to issue a single permit this year. And a squabble between the supervisors and other official agencies have rendered all areas of the city illegal to artist peddlers. Still, there are a few diehards. There have been several arrests uh, in the last half hour. Aren't you afraid that you're going to be picked up uh, uh, by I've the police? I've already been arrested once, and I don't want to be arrested again, but I have to make a living. This is the only way I make my living, doing this. But the, the police have indicated that they are going to make arrests now. Um, they haven't warned me yet, and they usually warn people first. I'll move, you know, if they come along and warn me. They asked the officer to tell them where to go, well, and he said, uh, Embarcadero Plaza, and they said, well, that's illegal. And he says, but you're tolerated there. And then they asked them him who was the complaint, and that was the Retail Merchants Association had made the complaint for the seven or eight artists that were down here. And that's how much will affect their business. How did the arrests take place? Very quietly. The, they called the paddy wagon, they came down and they put the guys in the paddy wagon and they drove away. They Along didn't with offer them the opportunity to simply pack up and leave? Yes, they did. They offered them the opportunity to leave, but this is their living and they have paid the $20 for designated areas and the city has been reluctant to give those areas and they feel it's their right. Uh, they were also protesting. The arrest of Bill and Bob Clark seems likely to go to the courts as the newest test case in the continuing struggle of the street artists against San Francisco authorities. But with only one shopping day left before Christmas, it seems highly unlikely that there'll be many more arrests. Ed Arnold for Eyewitness News in San Francisco's Union Square.